God is a sovereign God. Okay? He is the sovereign creator of the universe. We at this church believe in the sovereignty of God. We believe in the divine providence of God. But the thing is, to answer this question, this question is not about God's sovereignty. This question is not about God's providence. And that's what we're going to look at. And it causes confusion if you look at it that way. We are not, I am not disputing at all the awesome power of God. So please don't misunderstand that and, and, and don't get the inclination that, that I'm even implying it. I am not. I believe that Jehovah God is the almighty, all-powerful God creator of the universe. Okay? So we've got that established. We're not taking anything away from that whatsoever. In order to explain this, I want to tell you a little story that kind of helps you, just give you an illustration of how it'll help you understand the providence of God. We have a ship, and this is a cruise ship, and it is the nicest, finest cruise ship that has ever sailed on the waters. And the name of this cruise ship is the HSS Victory. And it is owned and operated by Providence Cruise Line. Now, this ship, the largest and the best, is going to make a trip from one port to another. It is leaving from the port of Eden and it is traveling to the port of paradise. And it is going to take six days to make this journey. Now piloting our ship is the notable, yea, famous Captain Adam. He's a good captain. As a matter of fact, he is in direct contact with the owner of Providence Cruise Lines. Now, one thing is very interesting about this, about this particular ship, the HSS Victory, and that is that this has technology far beyond other craft. And this particular ship has an autopilot that is programmed at the main office. They are able from the main office to put in the route going from Eden to, to Paradise. And it, and it goes on the course. There's GPS uh, uh, points, and checkpoints along the way. And once that ship sets sail, try to say that fast three times, then it goes along on the route that's been established by headquarters. And so, Captain Adam is there to oversee, to monitor the systems on board the, the ship. He's there to see that all of the passengers are taken good care of, that they are spoiled with all of the amenities on this vessel. And so, the ship finally starts underway. It's a glorious day. There's celebration. There's fireworks. There's water cannon from tugboats. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. Matter of fact, the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds both do flyovers over this ship. As it, It's an awesome day. Awesome. And so shortly after this vessel leaves port, there is somebody that has snuck on board His friends call him Bub. Now, Bub has gotten on board this boat, and he is really upset because he had an application in to Providence Cruise Lines to be the captain of this vessel, and he was turned down. 
And he didn't like that. He thought that he was qualified. He thought that he ought to have the job. But no, it was given to Captain Adam. So Bub sneaks on board this boat and brings some of his cronies, and they actually take the boat over. They knock Captain Adam in the head. They take the boat over, but now the boat is still going. They can't do anything about the navigation system. The boat is still going, and it's going to arrive six days later in, at the port of paradise. Well, there's a lot of things that are going on. There are a lot of people on board that boat that are influenced by Bub. There are a lot of people on board that boat that thinks Bub's right. He should have had the job. And there are others that believe there could be no one greater than Captain Adam. Well, word gets back to headquarters what's happened, and this is really important. So the boss calls his son in. He said, listen, I need you to come out here and take care of something for me. They've taken over, they've taken over the HSS victory. I need you to go out there personally. I'm not going to just send somebody out there. I'm got, we, we've got a SEAL team and everything to go out there. To, but I need you to go out there and make sure this problem is taken care of. He said, yes, sir, Dad, I'll be glad to. So he gets on board a helicopter and he flies out. Now they're four days into the journey now. So on the fourth day, he flies out, lands on the ship is able to gain control of the ship, set things back right, but for the next two days, for some reason, some of the people on board still think that Bub's right. And, and when they finally arrive in port on the sixth day, there are authorities that are waiting, and when Bub comes off the ship, they arrest him, and throw him in jail. He's not allowed to enjoy any of the special activities and festivities at the port of paradise. Now that little illustration right there illustrates the providence of God. That ship is God's providence. It is the things that God has set in motion are going to happen and you can't stop them. But along that journey, there are things that can happen on that boat. The, the people on that boat, uh, 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 Providence Cruise Lines doesn't make people eat certain food. They have all kinds of food. They have food 24 hours a day. If you want pizza, they've got pizza. You want steak, they've got steak. You want breakfast buffet, they've got breakfast buffet. You want uh, uh, desserts, they have a whole, they've got a, a dessert restaurant. That's all they do is desserts. You can eat whatever you want to. You want to lay out in the sun, you lay out in the sun. You want to hit golf balls off the side of the uh, uh, boat, you hit golf. You want to shoot skeet, you shoot skeet. You want to get in the water slide, you go get on the water slide. You do whatever it is you want to do. But that ship is going to that port no matter what you do on that boat. That is the providence of God. You can't stop the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus. You can't stop the second return of the Lord Jesus. But until He comes back, there are things that are going on this earth that you do have control over. Okay? Now, wasn't that a good illustration? Doesn't that help you understand how that works? Okay, all right. 